Hello everyone, and for today's quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to create a split screen behavior within Figma. So let's build this prototype. I have this view here with a simple navbar. I have my top view here, which will be my screen, which is basically a frame with the content that will be my video or photo that I'm editing in this bar here. That's all within the same frame. I have this element here, which is my handler, will be my controller, the interactive element. I have my bottom view, which is a frame with all these layers of filters and all the layers of my editing software in this concept. And if I hit enter to select all my layers here in the design, you can see that I have set all my constraints to up and left. So that will keep them in place when the resizing takes place. Make sure your constraints in your auto layouts are offset before starting doing the different states and changing the sizes. This is my default state. So what I need to do is duplicate this screen here and create another state, which in this case for me will be bringing this all up. So I'll shrink this and bring this here up and put my bottom view all the way down. Now for my second state will be the opposite, giving more real state to the screen, the top view, increase this size and bring this all down. Okay, so now that I have my main, two main states, what I have to do now is create my prototype. So I'll select my first screen here, hit prototype, Select my interactive element, which will be this handler here, and pull a connection here, setting setup on click to on drag and smart animate. And I'll do the same thing for the second state here. Instead of on click, put on drag. For going back to this default state here, I'll come here, select the interactive element, the handler, bring it back as an arrow here, select on drag. Same goes here. On drag. It's already smart animate, so that's okay. Now let's see how the prototype's looking. Let me hit here. When I click on this handler here and I drag it up. It shrinks my content here and shows more of my layers down below. And if I do the opposite, it goes to the default states. Or even if I go further, it shrinks my layers, giving more real estate to my full content here. Okay, so that's the first step. And now we can make it even better. As you can see here, I can scroll my layers in this bottom view. For doing so, I have to select these bottom views for the tree screen here and set them to vertical. Let me play once again. And now as you can see, I can scroll my layers in all different states. But one good thing to do here, considering that I have all this length for these layers and I might need to see how long they go, is to be able to scroll them horizontally as well. So instead of coming here and put this to both directions, which allows you to scroll both horizontal and vertical, it actually will give this exchange effect of allowing you to drag it anywhere, which is not what we want. So to fix that, set it back to vertical and now select all the layers within this bottom view and then once again frame them into a new frame. Let's frame selection, call them layers. And now in this frame here, I can set it to horizontal. And as you can see here, I have this icon saying that the content needs to be bigger than the frame. So what I have to do now is to shrink this at the same line as my real screen. Warning goes away. Add these layer content here to my other two. Delete all this and just add my layers here. I'll delete all the content within and add my frame with the layers. It's important to have the same name, remember, free must take text into consideration for smart animating. And now let me see how the prototype is looking. Once again, I can drag it all up and all down. I can scroll not only vertically, but also horizontally. And as you can see, it doesn't give me that odd effect of going anywhere. It just goes one direction at a time, either vertically or horizontally. Okay, so that's it for this Figma quick tip. I really hope it helps you with your future prototypes. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel for more, share it with your designer folks, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.